In this problem, we have a skydiver falling, and we have two different cases for the skydiver's terminal speed. Now, when we talk about terminal speed, that means we're bringing the air resistance, the drag force, into it. So first, I'm going to make a note of the drag equation. And the drag equation states that the drag force on an object is equal approximately to half of the drag coefficient times the density of the fluid times the cross-sectional area of the object moving through the fluid times the square of the speed of the object relative to the fluid. When an object is at terminal speed, so let's say we have something falling and then there's the drag force pointing upwards, and it also has the downwards force from its weight, the terminal speed arises when the object can't accelerate anymore. In other words, when the drag force perfectly counters the weight. So in other words, this problem is having us look at a case where mg, where m is the mass of the diver, is equal to the drag equation. The problem is specifically asking us to find a ratio of cross-sectional areas. So the first thing I'm going to do is solve this equation for the area, A. So A is equal to and then to get a on its own, we just divide all of this by the non-a variables. So this gives us an answer of 2mg divided by c, the drag coefficient, the density, and v squared, where v in this case is the terminal speed of the object, of the diver. And the problem wants us to find the ratio of the area for the slow position to the area for the fast position. So we want the ratio of this equation with the slower speed to this equation with the faster speed. Now what's nice about this is that the speed, the terminal speed, is the only thing changing in both cases, according to the problem. The mass of the skydiver is not changing, g is constant, the problem explicitly asks us to assume that c is constant, and the density of air isn't going to change. So if we we're going to take this ratio here, Everything else is going to cancel out, except for V. So this ratio quickly becomes a very simple ratio of 1 over the slower speed, squared, to 1 over the faster V, squared. Which can be much more simply written as the square of the faster speed to the slower speed. And that's really all we got to do. We don't need to do any fancy unit conversions because the kilometers per hour will just cancel each other out and we'll end up with a unitless number. So we put in 300 kilometers for the fast speed and 140 kilometers for the slow speed and we find a ratio of about 4.59. So that is our answer to the problem. That's all for this problem. I hope this video helped you out. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below and I'll try to explain or clarify anything. If you have a request for a future video, I have a Discord server linked down below so you can pop in there and ask any questions you want. But that's all for this video, and I hope you have a lovely day. Bye bye